Hey Surfet here and here's the first look of the Nintendo Labo. Let's check it out. Click. Mm, a little brown piece of paper. Okay. It's a cut off. Oh is that like a cardboard cutout? It is. <laughs> okay, so you can um you, you assemble some pieces. Oh wow, it's a piano. Piano. Wow, and this would work. You can just there's a holster for that Nintendo Switch, and you just put that Joy-Con there, and what it works. What? What? No way. A house? Uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> what the heck is that? Fishing pole! Oh my god. That looks awesome. It even makes it sound. Oh, it's like a motorbike uh, steering wheel. What the heck was that? And a gas pedal? Oh. Whoa, you can get pretty intense. <laughs> it's like a bug. Is that the house? That was the house. What the heck is this? <laughs> Whoa, what? What? Like a VR. VR thing. What, 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 Nintendo Labo. Hmm. Huh. The steps look simple enough. What? Steering wheel. <gasps> Was that a shotgun? <gasps> oh, that's so cool. Was that a gun too? It's a joystick. Oh my god, that's, so, that's awesome. Oh man, I bet there's like a lot of calibration in this. Oh, that's awesome. And you can color it, of course. What was that? Tape? Wrappings? <laughs> Reminds me of gingerbread houses. Oh, that's awesome. Nintendo Labo. Wow. For 2020 team. There's two kits. Oh, wow. I wonder how much it'll cost. Yay, I like it. So this was a surprise from Nintendo. Having peripherals out of cardboard cutouts. And those things, it kind of remind me of one of those do-it-yourself STEM kits that I see online, which is um, meant for kids to learn about STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. I do welcome the idea since it's something new to add on a console and it definitely adds um, creativity and longevity of the Nintendo Switch. So what I like from from the Nintendo Labo video is one there were a lot of peripherals. There were the piano, what the house, some kind of creepy crawly bug thing, fishing pole, which I find it interesting, motorbike, the steering wheel motorbike handle thing. Uh, robot backpack kit, which wow, looks really complicated. I'm pretty sure it would be complicated to disassemble. And then there's the steering wheel. These 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 controllers can will probably make it easier to control something in a game rather there than just the average controller, you know, regular Xbox controller or PS4 controller. And especially, um, I can see it. Um, you can see that it could be really really fun. From the demo, also there's also the demo showing how to assemble. It looks simple, where it shows step by step on how to assemble the pieces, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Now some things I'm worried about though is first that it's cardboard. <laughs> it's cardboard cutouts, and seeing how intense it can get, probably in a racing game, fishing game, robot game, like. Mm -hmm. Thing, or more my game, like, ah, yeah. The more you turn the cardboard, you know, you, you kind of wearing out 
the the inside and the fishing game you, you see the, um, the demo um, the person was like ah reeling in something and it, it, it can it can wear out the, the fishing the fishing pole peripheral and the robot game you know, it looks like you use a switch gear to like it looks like a VR and if you start punching something and you <laughs> accidentally hit a wall there goes a the cardboard right so it's cardboard so I should expect the durability of it and how fast it can get worn out not to mention yeah you can easily you can easily break it you accidentally drop something heavy on it or step on it you know that thing is cardboard imagine like you step you know like a cardboard shoebox you know if you accidentally step on it it gets crushed right and then there's the price there are two kits from so far one is the variety kit which comes with the piano fishing pole all the peripherals you see except the robot yeah that's for seventy dollars yeah seventy dollars while the robot kit is eighty dollars yeah the robot kit where you see person punching the weird box backpack you know yeah it's pretty price pretty pricey thing to assemble for a bunch of cardboard pieces and then who knows in the future I can see I can see though later on people will start putting up maybe templates on a do-it-yourself for cardboard cutouts but at the same time this is a good thing um, hopefully Nintendo will listen to their fans and you know maybe um, it will help them it will help kids to innovate their own controller and then Nintendo might make a version of it and also the fact that it's cardboard um, I think uh, more 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 very nostalgic more people who's into 3d printing you know, it could you could create a plastic version of those cardboard cutouts um, I don't know how safe it will be but it will definitely it will definitely be durable overall though I welcome it it looks really cool this adds innovations and multiplies the fun factor with the already fun Nintendo switch all right so that's that's what I, I look forward to. Do it. I already pre-ordered, <laughs> and uh, it's coming out on April twentieth. Okay. So thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Surfboard out.